Welcome to Quick Fix, the show where I answer your most commonly asked tech questions. Today, we're purging our digital lives. There is no reason to keep your old tweets public. Twitter is designed for people to share their loudest and most dramatic thoughts of the moment with little to no context. Do you have the same opinions now that you did when you were 16? Of course not. So why are those opinions still online? Thunderstorm? Everyone should delete their old tweets. Let me show you how. Twitter itself doesn't offer an easy way to automatically delete old tweets. You can delete individual tweets from this drop-down arrow right here, but no one's got the time to comb through years and years of tweets. Luckily, there are services that can delete your tweets in bulk. There are a number of sites out there, but the one that I use and recommend is Tweet Delete. The free tier does everything that most people will need. But there are some premium features for a one-time purchase of $15 that might be useful for some of you power users out there. I have Tweet Delete set up to check my Twitter every couple of days and delete anything older than three months. You can tweak that time frame to whatever works for you and set it to be a recurring process or just run it once. Keep in mind though that sites like Tweet Delete can only see your last 3,200 tweets because of a Twitter API restriction. So if you have like 10,000 tweets, you'll have to run the process multiple times to completely purge everything. Another option you have is Jumbo, a privacy-focused app that we've actually recommended on Lifehacker before. The app can comb through Twitter, Facebook, Google, and other services to turn off certain data collection and delete old posts. Jumbo can even archive the tweets it deletes so you can still hold on to them. Between these two super easy options, you don't really have an excuse to keep your old tweets public. You have changed and grown over the years, and it's about time your Twitter does too. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you have another tech question you want me to try and tackle, leave a comment below or email me. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to Lifehacker on YouTube.